Hello and welcome to News Click. It's widely reported that Facebook has been tempering with its reach, uh, the number of audience it's reaching, and also there are issues with the organic reach of the pages associated with left movements, uh, left political parties, and all that. To discuss these issues, we are joined by Prabir, our editor in chief, who has extensively worked on the patent issues in technology. So, Prabir, as widely reported on in different newspapers, that Facebook is inflating its reach when it comes to different age groups in different countries. Can you comment more on it? Well, it's an interesting figures that, a set of figures that have been released. It appears that Facebook, the advert manager, and identifies how many are the potential reach if you are on Facebook and you want to give ads or you want to promote posts. In the US, they said, for instance, the 18 to 24 age group, there are about 41 million people that you could reach in this way. Census figures seem to show there are only 31 people in that age group, 18 to 24 age group, that exist in the US. So it's an inflation of about 25% of potential viewers. Apart from the fact is everybody in the US on Facebook, that, that leaving that out. The figures, this 25% inflation seems to be uniform. It's there in the larger uh, other age groups. It's there for UK, it's there for Australia. It seems to be Facebook is systematically inflating potential viewers, potential viewers uh, in, on, its, on its pages. And if they're larger than census figures, then obviously there's something very wrong with this. Facebook has given a very weak answer to this, saying, well, you know, we also take into account potential visitors, other people who could be viewing this and so on, but still doesn't explain that why a 25% higher number is being reported. And hey, there are only 5 to 6 million people who visit United States from outside. So this is not really a, a potential answer to what they are saying. So there's something very wrong with the way Facebook claims to have uh, viewers and therefore the amount of advertising money it charges is also being inflated. So there is a very serious problem with it. But you know this is only the uh, tip of the iceberg. We do not have any idea how Facebook counts, what ads will reach, who it will reach, who are the people who are liking your page which you are promoting. So the whole bunch of other issues that are exist that exist with Facebook, this is one which has been obviously been found to be wrong and therefore has been reported widely. But a lot of the things are completely hidden because they are inherent in the algorithms that Facebook uses and we have no idea what these algorithms are. So you think it's only uh, because of that they want to earn more money and promote their advertisements, that's why they are doing this? Because they are news... Uh, about how left-wing sites, left-wing websites, pages are being, their organic reach is coming down drastically while the page engagement is increasing. Well, let's parse this into two parts. Why is Facebook in this business at all? Facebook is clearly in the business of earning ad revenues. As we know that Google and Facebook have overtaken uh, the ad revenues from newspapers. So the newspapers are dying as the ad revenue moves more and more into the digital platforms. Digital platforms are not there for your and my benefit. They are there to make money. And Facebook is obviously making money. The more traffic it, it can get, the more uh, it can promote its ads, the more money it makes. So that's a very simple logic of Facebook. It is not there for our social networking. It's there for our so social networking to be used as ad revenues for Facebook. That's the entire business model. There are a whole bunch of things associated with this. Facebook therefore allows much more easier ripping off of videos and playing it on Facebook. All the major YouTube channels have been complaining. It's very difficult to get Facebook to drop the videos. It takes time, it takes effort. A lot of the time they don't address it. And therefore the virality of the videos in Facebook finally may detract from what the YouTube channels could be getting. News click being uh, no exception. Second question you asked that suddenly the reach of left progressive sites have been come down. 
There were a lot of reports, for instance, in the alternate, from alternate and other sites in the US, as well as what we have seen here. And the interesting part of it is that this is supposed to be to weed out what's called fake news. Now, weeding out fake news means that you will give a value judgment and decide what should or shouldn't be seen. And if your value judgment is done by thinking that there are some sites whose, whose news is quote unquote not fake, using them as judgments, then obviously anybody who doesn't, for instance, in the United States agree with New York Times or Washington Post would be considered as fake news, both from the right and the left. Now, this is where the problem lies. What is the truth? Who gets to determine, determine it? And therefore, how do you ever go, are ever going to dis, you know, discriminate between quote unquote fake news and uh, real news or real views in this way? So I don't think this model is a very easy one and trying to get it to do it algorithmically is only adding to the prejudice that exists about of the programming people who then program a certain logic in the, in the algorithm and our belief that somehow machine intelligence now is superior to human intelligence because the machine can beat us in chess. Now that I think is a very stupid way of looking at it. So the problem of this remains and unfortunately the test of what is fake and what is real in this sense would be in the hands of a few companies. The last question, the last part of this, and I would really end with that, is you know we wanted to fight for net neutrality. And there's a particular reason we wanted to do it, because if you have your own website, you don't have the power of a Google or a Facebook, but if you have your own website, at least you have an ability to reach any of your users. It may take time, it may take a lot of effort, but yes, nobody can really stop it. If you are using platforms like Google and Facebook, and even for your website, they are important. The point is that they, you can be cut off from the knees very easily. If Facebook changes its algorithm, which is, it has done a number of times, for instance, it reduces the organic reach from something which is much higher to now below 5%. So all of these things mean that you are at the mercy of the algorithm. And the algorithm is directed to make Facebook money or Google money. It is not meant for your reach. That's not its primary purpose, unlike your website, which it is. Therefore, if net neutrality goes, then we will be completely at the mercy of the digital platforms. And that's the bigger battle that we need to fight to keep net neutrality alive. That's our only corrective against these digital platforms. And their, what shall I say, their unscrupulous use of algorithms to make more money for themselves. Thank the Lord, Prabir, and as these things proceed, we'll be discussing it more. Thank the Lord for watching News Click.